Hi, this is Phil Shapiro. I don't know if you've heard about this new car that's coming out next year, the Elio. It's a three-wheeler, 84 miles per gallon, costs $6,800. It's pretty exciting for makers and even for people who are not makers. Let me show you this car a little bit. Here's a, a video on YouTube. Uh, let me minimize that. I'm using VocoScreen, this uh, free screencasting program for Linux. It's really nice from some very smart programmers in Germany. So check this out. Check out this little car, Elio. It's named after the inventor. So here's the car. And the reviewer is... Uh, it's a three-wheel car. It's got two seats, one in front of the other. Let me take away this advertising. You can see the car there, and we're going to drive it now a little bit. You get to see how it drives. And I wanted to share some ideas about um, how this car might be uh, boosted beyond its 84 miles per gallon. So check this out, just as an idea. Isn't that an interesting car? So how about, I'm going to stop this in just a second. There we are. Well, let's watch it just a little bit more. Ah, there we are. That's interesting. So, how about if you built like a little cage behind this car, and the cage would have maybe two recumbent bicycles, and um, those bicycles would be enclosed in fiberglass to help maintain the aerodynamics of this vehicle, kind of tear-shaped. Um, and then, suppose there were, there was a family with, uh, uh, two parents and two teenagers. Then uh, the parents might ride in the car and alternate the driving and then the teenagers could be in the back on the recumbent bicycles and whenever this car reaches a downhill on a highway uh, the signal is sent from uh, um, the driver to the bicyclist that they should be uh, pedaling and the bicycle gears of the car would be uh, set up for like highway driving so the, the gearing of the bicycling would be like for 40 50 or 60 miles an hour um, and then I believe this 84 mile per hour car might be able to reach 100 miles per gallon um, and even the fun part is that they might be uh, the parents of the car uh, the parents of the of the teens they might um, rotate with the teens suppose Suppose that one of the teens has a driver's license, um, then that, that teen could be driving the car and then the parents might be taking turns uh, pedaling in the back. And when I say pedaling, I'm not talking about energetic pedaling. I'm talking about um, and not continuous pedaling either. It'd be sort of uh, recreational pedaling uh, for five or ten minutes and then a five minute break, that kind of thing. So. Um, kind of interesting. This Elio car is coming out towards the end of 2015. That's the schedule. They're already taking orders. And I like this car. <laughs> I like the car. I like its possibilities. Um, it's designed with off-the-shelf parts. That's one of the reasons that it's so inexpensive. And um, it's very crashworthy. It's gotten uh, got some very good ratings on crashworthiness. So... That's it. Phil Shapiro, I wanted to share some of those ideas. Oh, now, uh, one, one last thing. How about, how about if you had a race from New York to Los Angeles with this car in two different families? Um, you could do a little crowdfunding so that the, the, the family that wins the race gets like $20,000 or $25,000. It's pretty easy to raise that kind of money these days with a crowdfunding campaign. And then uh, let's check out the distance. The distance here between Los Angeles and New York is uh, 2,775 miles. So at 100 miles per gallon, that would be uh, uh, just 27 gallons. 27 gallons if, uh, um, so roughly speaking about $100 worth of gasoline to get from New York to Los Angeles in this car. That's pretty interesting. I like the idea of two families competing. That would be pretty amusing, too. This is Phil Shapiro, over and out.